Good morning, Marnie here. It is Tuesday morning and yes, I am wearing a hat. That is because I haven't warmed up. <laughs> I went outside, I had to go to the store and the wind chill is nine degrees or it was nine degrees, I think it's 11 degrees now. But yeah, it was nine degrees and I just haven't warmed up. Believe it or not, I really, I love this weather. I love it when it's cold, but sometimes it's ridiculously cold. Now I'm like just west of St. Louis and it gets, it gets pretty cold. So, um, I have two finished objects and one whip. I was going to work on, um, the yarn buddy that, uh, Crystal did a tutorial for. Um, and she she did that pattern for the little little um, rolls of yarn <laughs> so cute so so cute and I was like fiddling with one last night just with a scrap of yarn but I didn't have enough of the scrap of yarn so I just scrapped it um, and then this morning I was gonna do one uh, plus I didn't have my fiber fill in here with me and I was too lazy to go out there and get it it's, on my top shelf in there so I was gonna do one this morning but then I ended up starting on a shawl instead so I'm going to focus on making one of those tonight at least one or two of them I don't know um, but I do have two finished objects so the first one I'll show you is a hat and this is uh, the same pattern that I was doing last week. Um, it is a uh, Tamara Kelly at Moogly Blog. This is a uh, from her tutorial, and she uses the uh, she uses the small yarn with the big hook, and I, I just don't like that. So I used a uh, six millimeter hook on this. It fits perfect and the yarn that I used is the Universal Yarn Deluxe Chunky 100% wool and it is Lime Tree is the color and uh, so yeah, I like it. I mean, it it's it's wool. <laughs> um, it's not like the other object that I've got, the other item, which is 100% wool, and it's it's actually really soft. So this reminds me, <laughs> this reminds me of my childhood. <laughs> my sister and I uh, going to Kansas City to visit our grandparents, and. Uh, my grandmother had this uh, wool blanket that belonged to my dad when he was in the army and and every time we'd go to visit grandma we'd see and it would depend if we were going there with the parents then me and my sister always slept in the TV room on the pull-out sofa bed and that meant sleeping with the wool blanket. <laughs> uh, we gotta have the wool blanket, Grandma. <laughs> it thinks itchy and scratchy, and so she would always give us a sheet to put under it. If we uh, if we went there without the parents, which we always did for one week every summer, um, then we would just sleep in her bed, and then she would sleep in the bed with Grandpa. You, they slept in their own rooms, <laughs> so. Yeah, that's what this yarn reminded me of a lot. That wool blanket. I can remember exactly what it looked like, how it felt. <laughs> but anyway, that's the one object. And I, I love the way it turned out. It fits perfect. I, I could soften it by using the, the vinegar and hair conditioner. But when it's on my head over my hair, I really can't feel that. 
um, but I love this pattern so much. I just love the way it looks. So yeah, that's one item. The other item is uh, the cowl that I was working on yesterday. It is the Bag of Day cowl. And I, um, I will put a picture right here of both the hat on the mannequin and the cowl. And for this, I use the, uh, uh, the, uh, El Array. It's the El Array DK Merino Superwash, 100% wool, Caterpillar Heather. And I love the way it turned out. I ended up doing, uh, so yesterday I was trying to decide if I was going to do, if you can see it, uh, four of these, these squares or five, I ended up doing five and used up pretty much most of the, the hank. Oh, yeah, I pulled the whole thing over here. <laughs> That's what I've got left. <laughs> So yeah, I used quite a bit of it. All right, and that's that's pretty much gonna do it today. I've I got a little bit of a headache because I didn't get any sleep last night, so I'm really tired now. I'm on my third cup of coffee, and I guess I don't. Oh oh, my whip! I was gonna show you my whip. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> All right, so the shawl that I'm working on, and I'm not color controlling this because it's just going to be for me, uh, so I'm not really worried about it. Otherwise, it would probably look funny. Let me put a stitch marker in this so I don't lose these these the stitches in here. Okay, so this is my whip. And this is a, uh, a bag of day. And I uh, just changed colors again. I don't know if you can actually see that one strip. So I'm on the fourth color. The third color, you can't really see it real good. Unless I put it right up there, you might be able to see it. It switches from uh, like a light purple to a, a gray. But now I'm holding two strands together for this. Um, I'm using this stuff that I'd gotten from Hobby Lobby. And everything is sticking to me so bad. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Uh, especially this stuff. When the one strand comes off, it just sticks to me and flies everywhere. So I'm using this in different colors. There was there was six of them total. And the one that I'm currently on now is this one right here. It's kind of, it's pink. And so that's the last three. So that that's the fourth one that I'm working on now going into this and then with it I don't want to pick it up because I'm going to collapse it down too much well <laughs> it is the uh, it's sticking to me oh my gosh <laughs> it is uh, the Bernat baby coordinates in soft mauve and if I could find a picture, I'll just put it right here rather than totally collapsing my ball, <laughs> causing it to knot up in the inside. <laughs> so it's, when I get that done, which will probably be sometime today, probably tonight, I do plan on making one of them little skeins of yarn. Uh, the mini skeins, the, uh, what's she called, the yarn buddy. 
I do plan on doing that because they are so freaking cute. All right, that's going to do it. I'm, I'm crabby today. I'm getting in my own way. My hair is getting all over me and driving me insane. The yarn's sticking to me and I'm just in one of those moods today. <laughs> all right, so um, like I said yesterday, uh, I will be doing a uh, giveaway when I reach my thousand, but it's going to be a while. However, I am starting to gather yarn for it. So, um, yeah, I, I started gathering some yarn. I put uh, some, some hand-dyed yarns in there. Uh, I don't know what else I'm going to put in there. Probably some uh, Lion Brand Pound of Love because... I don't care for it. I made an entire huge king size blanket with it and hated every minute of it. <laughs> I loved the pattern, but I didn't care for the yarn at all. And I could not, the, I could only find one hook to work good with it. And it's not even one of my favorite hooks. And it was uh, one of my uh, Susan Bates bamboo handled hooks. But it was seemed to be the only hook I could use for that project. Otherwise, all the other hooks that I tried to use just drove me even crazier than that one did. And it's the yarn. I just don't care for that yarn. So I've got some of that I'm probably going to put in the giveaway because I know that there are people who do like it. More power to you. <laughs> All right. So that's going to do it. Uh, if you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, I would really, really appreciate it. And I hope everyone has a great day. Stay warm and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.